Hi everyone, it is Shalva from Life is No Yoke. We are live on Vitamix's Instagram today to talk about how a Vitamix can make mom's life easier. Hopefully by now you know that Mother's Day is right around the corner. If you have a mother that needs a gift, if you are a mother, uh, I'm gonna show you how this Vitamix machine and several others plus accessories are gonna just make your life easier, uh, healthier, and get you more inspired in the kitchen. So I'm gonna show you cashew queso, I'm gonna show you a chopped detox salad, and I'm gonna show you a no sugar added frozen dessert using all the different Vitamix things that are all on sale for the Vitamix uh, Mother's Day and spring sale. Um, so first off, I just wanna thank Vitamix for having us here today. What a fun thing to do. Uh, I am a mother of three children, five and under. So um, if anyone wants to talk about mothering, that's pretty much the only topic of conversation and blenders that I know how to talk about nowadays. Um, if you guys have questions along the way, I cannot multitask that much by talking and answering your questions. So there is someone from Vitamix customer service that is gonna be answering questions. So if you're like, what container was that? Can I have the link for the sale? They will do that for you. So just write that in the comments and they'll get that answered for you. Um, you may have noticed my very fancy apron, uh, super styling. This is the Headley and Bennett apron. Uh, during the Mother's Day spring sale, you get a free apron. Um, it's an $84 value, which it's like legitimately a really, really nice apron. It reminds me of the kind that like a mixologist or a fancy chef would wear. Um, it's like dark denim and very, very nice. I am not one to normally wear an apron and I've found myself throwing this on a couple of times over the course of the last few weeks since we've gotten it. So um, if you want the apron, go over, go over to our website, lifeisnoyoke.com uh, and we give you directions on how to add it to your cart and get it for free. Um, so without further ado, let's make our cashew queso. Um, this is one of our most popular recipes by far on our website. Uh, and it is nuts and a uh, red pepper and it makes this delicious cheesy dip. So I'm gonna make it, um, well, I already did make it, but I'll also show you how to make it. Um, and I want to talk very quickly about what I'm making it in. So this is the Propel 750. Um, if you can see on the front, the Propel has five uh, settings, five programs that you can use for walkaway blending. I don't know about you guys, but my mornings are like crazy busy. I'm busy packing lunches and feeding everyone breakfast. And we make a morning green juice every day. And it is awesome to be able to press the setting, walk away, and it does the blending for me and it stops when it's done. Instead of me having to think, oh my gosh, I'm supposed to go back and stop the blender. I'm not gonna remember to do that. So I used the soup setting on the Propel 750, which is one of the five programs um, to make my cashew queso. So I wanna show you what is so magical about this, which is, and we do this on almost every demonstration because there's such a wow factor to this, which is this. I'm hoping that the camera can catch that steam because uh, what the Vitamix just did was cook. I'm going to put that in quotes because uh, it has heated everything up without a heating mechanism. What it does is it uses friction. So the blade is running super, super fast in there and it breaks up all the ingredients, which I'm going to show you the ingredients in just a minute. It breaks up all those ingredients and it actually caused them to cook using friction. So I serve this just like this and I pour it out from the blender. I'm gonna mix it up a tiny bit. You know how queso gets that delicious crust on top. So that is my cashew queso served warm. This is one of my favorite five minute dinners for the kids. You'll see this is how I actually serve it for dinner. Chips, veggies, that's dinner. Uh, why do I feel comfortable serving just that for dinner? Uh, because it's filled with the most amazing ingredients. So I'm gonna show you how to make it um, in just a second. I first wanna just welcome anyone that's just joining us. I am Shalva from lifeisnoyoke.com. Um, we are here to show you how a Vitamix can be, a Vitamix can be 
getting a vitamix can be really stress-free. Um, we try to make it as easy as possible for you. So I'm here today to show you how the Vitamix can make a mom's life, a grandma's life, a dad's life, a bachelor's life better, healthier, happier um, because of all the cool things that the Vitamix can do. So we are here talking about the Mother's Day and spring sale. Everything that you see me using today is on sale. So head over to lifeisnoyoke.com uh, for more information on all of that, including the Propel 750, which I am about to show you how to make the cashew queso in. So the Propel 750 comes with this uh, low profile 64 ounce container, which is awesome. It fits under most kitchen cabinets and you want your Vitamix to live on your counter. So that's awesome. I am pouring in one cup of your nut milk of choice. And then I am doing a half a cup of raw cashews. A little trick for raw cashews is that it is kind of an expensive ingredient. So you can buy raw cashew pieces, which aren't pretty. You wouldn't put them in like a mixed nut bowl, but they do the trick if you're just gonna obliterate them in your blender. I've got raw almonds that I'm gonna do also a half a cup of. Okay, and then I've got fourth of a cup of nutritional yeast. If you haven't experienced nutritional yeast yet, catching my knife, that would have been fun on an Instagram live in front of all of you. Um, if you haven't been introduced to nutritional yeast yet, it seems like a kind of scary ingredient, but it is not. It is just like a seasoning. Uh, you can get it at all of your grocery stores now. It doesn't have to be a specialty grocery store. And it just kind of gives the taste of something cheesy without actually having dairy in it. We know a lot of people have uh, dairy allergies or are sensitive to dairy. And so that is a really good hack for um, having a cheesy flavor without uh, actually having cheese. Some people actually sprinkle it on their popcorn. It's delicious. All right. So now I'm going in with a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I am doing one full teaspoon of this is 21 seasoning salute from Trader Joe's, but really any uh, like onion based seasoning would work here. So I'm doing one teaspoon of that. Um, I mentioned I have three kids, five and under. So I am going to use some hot pepper flakes, not a ton because mama spicy is not my like favorite thing to hear. Um, so, but it does give it like a little kick that you need. And then one and a half teaspoons of salt. This is one of those ingredients that you can edit based on your personal dietary needs. So if you are trying to be have a low sodium diet, just cut the salt. Uh, you still probably need a little bit to enhance the flavors, but you definitely don't need all of that. Okay, I'm gonna get my station cleaned up here. And then the star of the show is, where am I going with it? The red pepper. Sometimes people are like, oh, I made your recipe, but I didn't have a red pepper. And I'm like, then you didn't make our recipe because you need the red pepper. Um, we eat with our eyes and the red pepper gives you the color of queso. And I don't know why, but it's a really, really necessary ingredient for the flavor as well. So don't skip the red pepper. Don't be a goof. Put the red pepper in. All right. So we've got red pepper. And that is it. So we've got nuts, a red pepper, some spices, some nutritional yeast. And I'm not going to have you guys sit through a whole uh, cycle here, but I want to mention again that this is the Propel 750. It's on sale for the Mother's Day uh, spring sale. And I am going to turn it to the hot soup setting. And all I'm going to do is press start. And this will automatically run a whole soup, uh, soup program. So five, six minutes and you've got hot queso with the friction, right? It's not, there's no actual heating mechanism in here. So I am going to press start so that you can see it all go, but I'm not going to make you wait the whole five minutes. So here we go, Propel. All right, so that turns into this in five or six minutes via the program. So if you guys are just joining us, 
I am Shalva from Life is No Yolk. We are here uh, talking about the Mother's Day sale. Um, we help you get a Vitamix and help you make that decision stress-free. So I'm here to show you how a Vitamix can make your life healthier, happier, easier, give you ideas for quicker dinners, things like that. So uh, go on over to our website, which is lifeisnoyolk.com. We talk all about the Mother's Day sale there, have a ton of recipes for you as well. So this is our cashew queso. We just finished making that in the Propel 750. I'm gonna start getting the next one set up while uh, my cameraman, Lenny, gets, shows you all the pretty shots of the cashew queso. All right, so the next thing we're gonna be making is our detox salad. It's gonna take me a second to set it up because we have a lot of stuff that this particular package comes with. So that's exciting. I'm gonna move this over here so that I have space. Because we've got a lot of stuff going on here. Okay, so here we go. We have you know what? I forgot to show you something really fun. Lenny set me up with this cool thing. That's him, in case you're wondering. Uh, that's the camera guy today. You might recognize him from our YouTube channel. Um, I was supposed to show you what else you can use the cashew queso on um, because we do use it for a five minute dinner a lot. We use it for snacks a lot, but we also use it to top some of our favorite things. So that's just the cashew queso. You can get super fancy. You can put it on a sweet potato, black beans, cilantro, avocado, uh, absolutely delicious corn. Uh, we use it as a topping on our jackfruit um, sliders. We make jackfruit tacos. The cashew queso is awesome for those things. Um, and we serve it for dinner all the time. So here's our um, then probably four-year-old, he's five now, and he is eating trees, which is broccoli. We got a great book about eating trees um, and it was really broccoli and now he still calls them trees and he eats his broccoli happily. So whatever tricks you need to use to get your kids to eat healthy food, that's one of them. All right, I missed one. I'm back for more, which is uh, you can turn your cashew queso into broccoli cheddar soup, which is actually what I'm going to do because you just watched me blend two batches of queso. And as much as we love queso, we can't eat two batches in one day, two days. So I'm going to turn it into broccoli cheddar soup for dinner tonight. That's our um, cornbread, which we also make in the Vitamix. Um, so we're going to have that later tonight, which I'm excited about. Okay. On to the next one. This is the Gourmet Smart Prep Kitchen. It is a white Ascent 3500. This is on sale for the Mother's Day spring sale. And it comes with this 64 ounce low profile container, but it also comes with the food processor attachment, which if you didn't know that Vitamix makes, now you do. And it's very exciting because it's like two machines in one. So our family likes to keep it simple. We like to keep everything. We don't really have anything in our kitchen that has one purpose that we can only do one thing with. Uh, this is one of those things that's a space saver. It comes with all of these really cool discs that do extra special stuff. Um, you can do things like make hash browns, you can make falafel, you can make energy balls, all of those things you can do in the food processor attachment. Some of the things that the food processor attachment does, a traditional Vitamix can do too, but it also can do some extra things. If you're like really a cook and you love to spend time in the kitchen, the food processor attachment is an awesome accessory to add to your Vitamix um, collection. So this is a package deal that's on sale for the Mother's Day sale, but you also can buy a food processor attachment um, separately. So they are available separately as well. Um, so I'm gonna make our detox salad. Um, 
I also call this our mama salad. Um, this is a little trick that I have for getting my kids to eat healthy food is to like rename it so it's exciting. So they watched me eat this forever and ever and ever. And so I was like, who wants some mama salad one day? And it just made it that much more delicious for them. So they now call it mama salad. If you have any tricks like that, I would like to know them in the comments. Um, this is one of those things that's like, it works so well for my family. And I would like to know if you have anything like that too, because if you help someone learn something on this Instagram live, that would be awesome. So if you have a trick for getting your kids to eat healthy, write it down in the comments below. Okay, so this is what our detox salad is going to look like. I'm gonna chop up all these vegetables super, super small. And I told you, this is a beautiful picture of it. Um, stylized, beautiful. We're used to doing YouTube videos where we can show like B-roll up here. So this is our trick for doing B-roll. Um, so this is kid number one eating detox salad. This is kid number three eating it with her hands before she could even eat with a fork. And this is mama eating mama salad um, out of a serving bowl, taking a break by the couch. So that is our mama salad specialty. So I'm gonna show you how to make it. Um, again, this is the gourmet smart prep kitchen system. Um, it is on sale for the Mother's Day spring sale. If you want information about that, go to lifeisnoyoke.com. We'll have all the details there for you. Um, this, the thing that I love about our detox salad is that I can batch it. So I'm gonna make kind of a small um, small batch right now, but I usually make it in a huge batch. All right. Oh no, where's my plunder thing? I gotta find my, this piece. We're missing a piece. There it is. I took it out myself. I'm standing right here, obviously. I was so prepared for this, I knew I wouldn't do that to myself. Okay, so I do sometimes make this in our um, regular size container, but today we are going to make it in the food processor. And I am using the, let me show you, without cutting myself. I'm gonna show you the, I'm gonna use the large shred um, to do it. So, you gotta get it all lined up and clicked in so that it recognizes the food processor. There it is. Okay. So, I'm gonna start with carrots, and you're gonna watch. I'm just gonna keep loading ingredients in. So, I've got carrots, I've got cauliflower, I've got purple cabbage, and I've got kale, and that's the whole salad. So, here we go. <laughs> I have to um, take the stems off the kale. So I've got this beautiful kale. You obviously can get um, like shredded kale also from my grocery store. Um, but what I'm looking for here is like a really finely shredded um, salad. And I don't know why, but this kind of salad is just like more delicious than just like eating big leaves of kale like this. There's something about the science of having a chopped salad that makes it easier to eat. I batch this, like I said, in big, big batches. Um, and it keeps in the fridge over the course of the week, like really, really well, as long as you don't put dressing on it before. Um, and so I'm gonna keep this over the course of the week. This is a really good grab and go lunch for me as a busy mom. Um, it's a really good one to pack if I'm leaving the house and need to have something to go. Um, and it's healthy and I love it. So, um, again, I'm using the gourmet smart prep kitchen. It's the white a 3,500 with the food processor attachment on top. 
And if you're just joining us, I'm Shalva with lifeisnewyork.com. Um, we're here to teach you how getting a Vitamix can be stress-free, how using a Vitamix can make your life better, um, and to make your life as a mom or a grandma or whoever you are that is watching today, um, college kid, whatever it is, how a Vitamix can make your life easier, how you can meal prep quicker, um, how you can use these tools to enhance your healthy lifestyle, basically. So for everything that we do, head on over to lifeisnoyo.com. We've got all of that for you. Um, okay, so I'm about to show you how cool this finished salad is, but let's get some cake. <laughs> Do you ever use like a powerful machine in front of thousands of people? <laughs> Just make sure you do it right. Okay, so I've got the food processor attachment. We've got the large shred. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the food processor attachment. So that is my mama salad, detox salad whatever you want to call it. Maybe you have a creative name for calling it. Um, and you see that it's chopped super fine. And this is exactly the consistency that we want it. So um, this, like I said, keeps in the fridge really, really well, um, as long as you don't dress it. So you might be curious, what do you dress it with? Well, on our website, we have a very fancy, um, dressing that's avocado based and it's absolutely delicious. And if I were making that, I would make it in here. Um, I'm not gonna make it today because I've got a lot going on today. So I'm just gonna put balsamic vinegar, olive oil, if you uh, have olive or oil in your diet, olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and then I'm gonna throw sunflower seeds and raisins on here. And that's, I would say how we eat it 90% of the time. 10% of the time I take the extra time and make the really fancy avocado dressing. Um, so that is the Gourmet Smart Prep Kitchen. That is so hard to say over and over. Gourmet Smart Prep Kitchen. It's the white A3500. It is on sale for the Mother's Day spring sale. All the information you need is on our website at lifeisnoyo.com. It comes with this container. It comes with the food processor attachment, and it comes with all of these discs. The discs get you a handful of different ways to do things. So the ways that I use the food processor attachment are to make a veggie lasagna. So I slice like um, the onions, eggplant, zucchini, all that thin slices. Um, I use it to make falafel. So it's a really good consistency when I use just the main blade in here to make homemade falafel which I never did before I had a food processor. Um, you can make energy balls in here. It's very, very good for energy balls. Quick snack, great for kids. You wouldn't think your kids would love energy balls, but they do. They're like tiny little delicious flavor packed granola bars. Um, and the thing that most people get the most excited about with the food processor attachment is the ability to make hash browns. You cannot do hash browns in a full size Vitamix container but you can in the food processor. So you can shred, shred, shred your potatoes, make a delicious hash brown breakfast for yourself. Okay, I'm not gonna throw away that kale, don't worry. I'm just putting it in my sink for now. Okay, so I've got my mama salad. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Okay, I've got my mama salad and I've got my cashew queso. You may have noticed me using this uh, handy dandy red scraper. The red scraper is one of those amazing tools that like gets into the corners. I use it mostly in these, but I'll show you on this. It just is like made specifically for Vitamix products to get into the little corners and under the blades and stuff. So I use this all the time. So if there is someone in your life that loves Vitamix, this is one of those fun little like extra add-ins, like throw it in their stocking in the holidays um, that we love. Okay. Setting up a whole new system. So give me one second while we get the next thing set up for you. Um, if you are just joining us, 
I am Shalva with lifeismario.com. Uh, we are here talking about Vitamix for the Mother's Day sale, uh, for the spring sale. We, our whole goal is to make buying a Vitamix, getting a Vitamix stress-free for you. Um, we have kind of built our careers over the past decade. Uh, Lenny's been doing this for 10 years. Um, talking about how to use a Vitamix, how to get a Vitamix, how to get the right one, how it can add to your family, what you can do um, with it. All the recipes, all the great stuff um, is all over on our website, lifeismaryup.com. Uh, we talk about how the Vitamix can make your life easier, better, healthier um, for moms, for everyone. Mother's Day is coming up, so specifically for moms, but um, really for everyone. So <clears throat> I'm going to make you, me, you're not eating it. Um, I am going to make a frozen dessert for you. Um, all we're doing is blending up frozen fruit and a milk of choice. Um, we are looking for something that looks like these. This is our coconut lime delicious frozen dessert. This is our Neapolitan ice cream. It's all banana and ice cream flavors. And this is like our cookie dough delicious yummy. And this is from Vitamix's website. That's an apple ice cream that looks delicious. And here's our middle child who will only hold a spoon for ice cream. Otherwise he goes straight in for his hands, with his hands. So uh, I'm going to make this frozen dessert for you and I'm going to use the immersion blender. So I had a kind of a idea of what an immersion blender was. And to me, it was like a low level appliance that you stuck in a pot to make soup over the holidays or gravy or something. This is not that. <laughs> This is like the most powerful little stick I have ever held. It's insanely strong um, and powerful. And what makes it so cool is that you can just stick it into a mason jar or this really cool jar that it comes with. Um, and you can blend in that jar and be done. So yes, it still does make soup. And that is what I use it for most often is like our lentil soup, our sweet potato soups. But it also can blend frozen dessert. Um, the best thing about the immersion blender is if you have a small footprint in your kitchen, if you live in a small apartment, if you live alone, this is an awesome way to like be in the Vitamix family without having the footprint of a full-size Vitamix on your counter. So this is the immersion blender. Um, this is the bundle that it comes with. So it comes with um, the whisk and the jar. There's other things available like a chopper. You can go onto um, lifeisnewyork.com and look at everything that's available. Um, we are talking about the jar today because I'm gonna make the frozen dessert in there. So you can obviously use the whisk on some really cool stuff. Um, you can make whipped cream, you can whip up aquafaba, um, you can do egg whites. So that's what you would use the whisk for. But today we are using the jar. So I have mostly used the jar to make a morning smoothie for myself, but we are gonna do a frozen dessert today. So I've got two cups of frozen ingredients in here, and then I put a half a cup of nut milk in there. I have let the fruit sit out for a few minutes because our freezer is like insanely cold. Um, one of the best things about having a Vitamix and learning how to use your Vitamix and being at one with your Vitamix is knowing how to kind of change the recipe around to make sure that it works for you. And the coldness of my freezer makes a difference in the way that I have to do this recipe basically. So once you become a pro at your Vitamix, you'll be able to kind of edit recipes to make them perfect for you like we do all the time. So again, this is the Immersion Blender. It is on sale for the Vitamix spring sale. Head on over to lifeisnewyork.com for more details about it. Um, so I am going to just put the stick in and press on and it might be loud, but not too loud. And all I'm doing is pushing down on the ingredients. And you can see it's already starting to come together. So you see the mangoes 
already all done. Now we're moving down to the strawberry. So you obviously do have to use a little bit more of your own power on this, but not too much. noise that makes me it's like I'm almost done. Get those last couple of chunks of strawberries at the bottom. All right. So that felt a little uh, bit longer than it actually was to me because I'm doing it live in front of all of you. But that took less than a minute probably to make a frozen dessert. Why do I love making frozen desserts? Well, my kids love dessert, just like everyone's kids love dessert. And I love dessert. And this is one of those ways that you can make dessert uh, without adding any sugar. So the fruit obviously is naturally sweet. And so we have made like a luscious, creamy dessert in less than a minute with healthy ingredients that taste exactly like ice cream. Look at that. My kids are gonna be so happy to have that on their plate tonight. And it has no added sugar in it. So one of the things that we have started implementing at our house with dessert is that our kids were like obsessed with dessert and we were always fighting about like, getting dessert, how much you needed to eat and all of that. And we have decided based on many other people's um, research and suggestions to just serve dessert with dinner. And it has completely changed our kids like relationship with dessert. Basically they just eat it. Like it's one of the other foods that's on their plate. They love it. Obviously it's their favorite thing on their plate, but they still, they just eat it. Like it's one of the other things. One of our kids saves it until last. One of our kids eats it first. One of our kids dips it in her other food like a weirdo. Um, but that's one of the tricks that we have really, really liked um, that's made a big difference for our family. So I I'm curious how you guys do dessert. What do you guys do at your house with dessert? Whether you live alone, whether you live with a partner, uh, whether you have a family with older kids or younger kids, I'm curious what your dessert thing is. Um, so in the comments below, tell me, what do, you, what do you and your family do for dessert? Because we just serve it with dinner now and that's it. Um, so if you're just joining us, I'm Shalva with Life is No Yolk. Um, we are here talking on Vitamix's platform today about all the things that are on sale for the Mother's Day spring sale. All the information that you need about all the things that I showed you today, the Propel 750, the Gourmet Smart Prep Kitchen, the Immersion Blender, all the bundles that they come with, those are all on our website, which is lifeisnoyolk.com. You saw us make a cashew queso. You saw us make a detox salad, chopped small, so this is warm, this is chopped. You saw us make a dessert from frozen ingredients that is cold. Uh, you saw us use three different machines. All of these things, that we just made help make my life as a mom with young children easier, healthier. They fit into our lifestyle. I honestly don't know what I wouldn't do with my Vitamix some days. Um, there are days that I blend six things in a row. That's just how life is some days. Um, so just wanted to close out by saying thank you again to Vitamix for having us. Um, Head on over to lifeisnoyolk.com for all of this Mother's Day sale stuff. Remember that this apron, the Headley and Bennett apron, which is priced at $84, uh, you get for free if you order during the Mother's Day sale. Lenny is wording something to me at the end. What? <laughs> He's telling me to tell you to go to lifeisnoyolk.com. But if you wanted to count how many times I probably said that during this presentation, it's probably like 72. So to close it all out, thank you all so much for being here. This was really, really fun. I can't wait to read all the comments that you guys wrote while I was blabbering about um, at the end. So thanks so much. It was great have, uh, being here and head on over to lifeisnoyolk.com. Thanks guys. Bye.